What's going on everyone? It's your boy Kieran the Barber here. Today I'm going to be doing another top five. This video today here is about the top five up and coming talents of 2017. They're young, they've only just recently qualified. They're really cool barbers. Give them a follow. Um, I'm going to be showing you their Instagram page, I'm going to be showing you their work. And while you're here, while you're on my channel, all my subscribers, thank you. If you're not one of my subscribers yet, don't worry. Because there's a little button just down there that says subscribe. Get on that button. Give it a cheeky little click. My top five um, up and coming barbers of 2017. It is not personally in order from five, four, three, two, one. It is a collective of just five absolutely outstanding young barbers. So to kick off things first, my number five. I'm gonna have a little five thing here as well, like five. You know, like like Thunderbirds, like five, four, something like that. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna get onto it. So. <clears throat> So, for my number five, I gotta first of all kick it off uh, them female barbers who are dominating this industry. So let me kick this top five off quickly with a female who um, sh shocked me. It not shocked me. Um, that that sounds kind of rude, uh, but it is genuinely true. Like. Not because not because she's female, just because I, I saw this this cut um, that she did scrolling through some haircuts. Because um, I, I scroll a lot on Instagram, I search up hashtags, I, I look through them. I like a lot of pictures. Um, I see this one picture and I was like, oh my god, who cut that? And I thought it was going to be someone like who uh, who I idolise, like the likes of Ryan Cullen, um, Mickey Graham, Neil Toner, Alan Beak. So I thought it was one of their haircuts, and I was like, nah, it's, it's not because you can genuinely tell their photo work, or you can you can see a picture and you can usually tell what barber's cut. So I was like, okay, maybe it's showing a different style. Um, and someone reposted it, and it was her sister actually that reposted it, hence why I didn't know it was her. And I was like, that is an outstanding cut. I, I read on it, that is one of the best cuts I've seen this year. Um, I'm, I'm gonna show you the picture. The picture's right there. So this is the haircut that made me go, oh my god. And then from that, I, I went and followed her. And her work is, which I'm gonna show you, is absolutely outstanding. It's some of the best work I've seen for such a young barber. I was like, this is crazy. Her name is Emma Richardson, um, and she is absolutely amazing. And her Instagram is Emma underscore CCBS. Cavalier Club Barbershop. Um, that's where it stands for, because that's where she works, that's where her sister works. Um, so yeah, Emma Emma told me a little bit about herself. I messaged her and said, look, I'd like to feature you in this top five. And, and she was really humbled. And um, I, I, I'll be honest, I don't, I've don't. i only sort of seen her haircuts in the last few months. Um, so I asked a little bit about her, and, and her story's really cool. The way she, she, was, a, she was a female hairdresser, um, went from female hairdressing to she didn't really find a niche in female hairdressing and her sister was already working at the barbershop so she went over to her sister and was like, I'm going to try male, male barbering. Um, and she, she was telling me that she watched a lot of YouTube videos. Um, she is inspired by a lot of other barbers who have helped her along the way, um, which is really cool, like the men inspire guys and people like that. And she knuckled her ass down and she worked hard. And I've got a lot of respect for people that go, do you know what, I'm, it's not just gonna come to me, I'm gonna have to go out there and get it. And you can see in her work, the way she goes out there and she absolutely gets it and she smashes it. And she is smashing it for the female barbers right now. She is, she is doing sick. In a number four, um, again, this kid did when he was 16, he wanted to be a football coach, like most 16 year old boys um, who love football, wanted to be a football coach. And the thing was, he would be coming in the barbershop once a week, once every two weeks, getting his fresh trim, um, and I would cut his hair funny enough. So it, it would be a case of, I would cut his hair, and then I would finish it. And bear in mind, oh, I'm okay at cutting hair. 
and I'm pretty good at styling too. The kid would never let me style his hair. So afterwards I'd finish cutting, he'd be wet, and I'd leave him in the chair for 15 minutes, go, go on and do your thing. And his hair would be wild, like crazy wild. Like I, I looked at him and go, how the hell do you style that? Um, and then I, I mentioned to him, come on, why don't, you, why don't you get into barbering? No, 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 it's not my thing, it's not my thing, it's not my thing. Bit of pushing, bit of encouragement. Um, and he was a lifeguard. He still is a lifeguard, I believe, on Saturdays or Sundays. Um, from that, becoming a football coach, it took him about till he was 18. So when he hit 18, he qualified as a football coach. Couldn't really see a life in it. I said, like, just give it a try. Just calm down, watch me cut for a few days, see how you like it. Um, so he did. To be fair to him, which is really good, when he come down, he's one of my only other apprentices what brought actual notebook and notepad. He wrote everything down, every word I said he was writing down. Bang, 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 bang. I was like, he goes, well, if I'm gonna be in it, I'm gonna, I wanna be in it properly, um, which was really cool. So we did that. And now you can find him at Baldi's Barbers. Um, his name is Tom Pipkin. I've known his Instagram, Tommy Poppet. Um, funny, funny kid. <laughs> really funny kid, really really good times with that kid. Um, he won BBA Apprentice of the Year. Um, he's been doing it about a year now, maybe 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 a year and a half. Um, really really talented kid. Here's some of his work. As you can see with Tom, his work is very different. It's very versatile in what he does. Not only does he like his skin fades and and stuff like that, but he's also got that flair about him, what consists in young barbers these days. The, the flair that goes with the imagination and the cre creativity. He's, um, he's an on point barber. Um, and I would definitely, definitely say give him a follow. Um, because the next stuff in the next few years was gonna come out of that kid is gonna be superb. You know why he's so good, right? Because, you know, this guy taught him. Prince of the year, this guy taught him. Not Baldy, this guy right here. Hi Baldy. So for my number three, um, this female barber is cray cray. She is crazy. Um, just you can tell by her personality and the way she um, the way she comes across, especially over social media, is she's very energetic. She's very fun. She's very bubbly. Um, I've been following her for a while now, just her work. Um, I haven't actually met her in person yet, which is a shame. Um, I'm sure I will get to soon. Um, she, you can tell she puts her energy and her creativity into her cuts, because not only does she do real classical men's cuts, and she does some really cool sort of skin fades, etc., etc., but in the same sentence, she's there doing these wacky colours, these new greys and these new, these, like, she does whatever she wants to do, like, and that's what I like about this industry, it's like, you can go, do you know what, today, this is what I love about the industry, like, no matter where you are, what you do, as long as you've got your mind um, set on a goal, I, today I'm going to make this guy do this, 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 this and this, you can usually see the haircut before it's done kind of thing um, and that's what she has she has this wild creativity and it's so cool to have like I wish I had a bit more of that sort of oomph and flair and stuff like that but me I'm getting too old for that so I'm getting all these young barbers coming through taking over my spot taking my crown um, which is cool I like that shit um, female barber I'm talking about is Danica Greensmith she is crazy good She's crazy fun. You can tell by her Instagram. She just likes having fun. She likes being creative. Um, she works at the Rag and Bone Barbershop all the way up in Scotland, Edinburgh to be precise, all the way up there. Um, and her name on Instagram is Danica Brook. Danica underscore Brook to be precise. I'll put it in there. I'm gonna show you some of her work and show you some of her Instagram. To see her personality come through, you can you can just tell instantly by looking at these pictures, looking through these pictures, etc., etc., that she's absolutely awesome at what she does. And not only is she awesome at what she does, but she also has a lot of fun when she does it. Um, and that's what this job is all about. It's all about having fun or cracking on with some work, making money, having fun. 
So, in at number two. Now, this kid's been cutting hair since he was about 12. He first started off in his house. Um, his brother used to actually cut his hair, and his dad used to cut his brother's hair. Um, and it went from that, they're not barbers, they're not a barber family, they just wanted to try it, I suppose. Um, and then this kid was, the dad was out, so his brother said, go on and cut my hair, one back in size. Did it, enjoyed it. From that, his brother was walking about with his trim. His friends would then go, what's that? Who's that? Who gave you that haircut? So he's now 17, um, and funny enough, he's been working here for six months. Royal Rich Barbershop. We'll give a shout out to Richmond. A Y Y underscore cuts C U T S. Nice and easy. It'll be just there. I'm gonna show you some of his work. As you can see, the kid is is superb. Considering he's only been doing it um, professionally for like the last seven months with me, um, he's got a lot of talent. And he's, he's, do you know what the best thing about it is? Um, I've worked with a lot of 17 year olds. Um, and, and some of them have really bad attitudes. Really bad attitudes. Um, they, barbering is such an up and coming cool thing. Um, people go, barbering, that's easy. I got this, I can do this. It's just cutting a bit of hair. It looks fun. It's a bit of barbering, tattooing, and that kind of thing at the minute. Everyone wants to be involved in the industry because the industry is quite booming. Um, a rich man got into it because he loved it, not because he wanted to be something special or not because it was cool. He just actually really enjoyed doing it. Um, and that's, that's why he's so humbled when, when he comes in every day and when he sits in his chair gets the same service as they would in my chair. There's no back chat, there's no attitude. Um, and, and I like that. I like the whole respect thing from such a young age. Um, so. Yeah, give this boy a follow in the bottom. My next one. So on to my number one. My number one. Tell Usher. <laughs> my number one. My number one is a kid. Um, he's male. He, um, I actually met him at Barber Connect this year, come up and he spoke to me. One of the nicest, nicest kids I've ever met. Honestly, I thought he was looking for his mum. Looks about 12 years old. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, he came up to me and we were chatting. Um, and this was before everything else. So I was just having a chat with the kid. Um, it's about Barber and stuff like that. He come across very nice, very pleasant. Um, and later on that night, we were at the awards evening and he actually won student of the year. And may I must say, it was well, well deserved. Um, I went after that and I followed him on Instagram and, and I was blown away. This kid can cut hair. Like, I'm, I'm serious, like this kid can cut hair. Like, he looks like he's been cutting hair since he come out of the womb. Like, his fades are on point. Um, He's, um, his name is Amir. Uh, his name is Amir the Barber. You should give him a follow, he's like 17 years old. All right, he looks 12. Um, <laughs> but he is one of the best. Seriously, I'm gonna find out where he works. I'm go in there, duffel bag. I'm gonna try and steal him for myself. Um, I don't poach other people's stuff, but he is good, like, uh, I'm, I'm putting up his work right now on the screen and seriously it looks like a, a 35, 40 year old multi award winning barber has cut his hair like the kid is on another level of good like there's the bar and he jumped over that twice like and, and the best thing about it is um, for real the best thing about this kid is he, when I spoke to him he genuinely doesn't realise how good he is and how much talent he has. He's so nice, he's so humble, um, and he's just thankful to be in this industry. And not only is he thankful to be in this industry, it, he works hard. You can tell by the way, I was when I was talking to him, he was telling me how hard he works, how much he wants to learn, how much he wants this, and that's what I love about it. Like, this industry is so like, boom, 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 boom. 
you can really, um, if you work your ass off, you can really get there. So his name on Instagram again is Amir the Barber. Um, I'm gonna put everyone's Instagram in the link below, in the description, so you can follow my top five. Honestly, give them all a follow. They're worth it, 100%. If you wanna find some creative ideas and some new ideas coming from these new minds, then it's 100% worth it. Uh, I've got, um, these kids will have this thing. Um, and I'm going to rip you off a little bit, Kev Vorley, because my friend Kevin Vorley um, from Kev Vorley's Emporium, he tells me this every time I see him, and it's drilled into me. It's the three H's, um, and these kids all have it. The head, the heart, the hands, and I don't know which order that goes in, because Kev is going to kill me if he ever watches this video, not like he watches my video, he's way too busy. Um, but if the head thinks it, and the heart believes it, the hands will do it. And that's what all these kids have. They have the right mindset, the right attitude and the mental mind going into whatever, and they've got these crafty things that they can use on another level. They are like weapons of mass destruction. So yeah, these, these kids, I call them kids because I'm 30 next year. Don't tell anyone, please. Um, I know I look 14, or maybe maybe 15 with a little bit of stubble. Um, but yeah, these, these kids are, 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 are outstanding, amazing barbers and they deserve to be shouted out 100%. All five of them, absolutely amazing barbers. Um, give them all a follow, give me a subscribe. I'm gonna be bringing out a lot more top five videos within the next few weeks. Um, keep up to date with them. Um, give me a shout if you wanna have your name put in one of them. We can see what we can do. Comment in the link below. Tell me what top five you'd like to see next. Thank you very much. Give me a subscribe. Have a good evening. Have a good morning. Have a good afternoon. Have a good whatever you're doing. Enjoy life. Enjoy your barbering. Tomorrow.